What's going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and today I thought I would show you how to use the Microsoft Force Feedback Racing Wheel with uh, Project Cars on the PC. So just in case you're wondering, I don't mean the uh, the wireless speed wheel that they released with Forza 4, um, that kind of crappy handheld controller thing, I mean the actual wheel and pedal setup that they discontinued in about 2010. So if you're looking for the racing speed wheel um, video, this isn't it, so just, just a heads up. Um, but yeah, it is possible to use this wheel, it doesn't have force feedback because if you don't know, it's a Microsoft issue, they never released drivers for this wheel on the PC unfortunately, um, which kind of sucks. But it does work and it removes the dead zone and it kind of gives you the settings that you want to be using basically. There's a couple of things that you're going to need, obviously the wheel and the pedals first, um, hook them all up, plug them in however you want to set them up. I would obviously include a video and show you like my setup but my phone is broken so um, unfortunately I can't do that. Uh, the second thing you'll need is the wireless adapter. So I got mine for like five euro. It was like seven euro, I think, including shipping off uh, Amazon. It's like just a cheap, no-name brand wireless uh, adapter kind of thing. Um, you can get the official Microsoft ones. I think they still do them for like fifteen euro or something like that. But again, any any one will do basically. Um, yeah, but once you have all that and you have all that set up, maybe check out somebody else's video of how to set that up if you haven't got those yet. Um, but yeah, assuming you have everything. The next thing you need is a DX Ace Editor, which is kind of just a simple program. It, 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 it like it creates like a DX Ace file, whatever that is. Basically, I don't know too much under the hood of how all this works, but I I, I, I followed some instructions online and I did it and and I've made it work. So, um, yeah, I'll leave a link to the download that program. It's all good. It's no 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 nothing sketchy around until I, I've used it myself. So I'll leave a link to download that in the description, and uh, yeah, we'll I'll, I'll show you how to use that. So. If we kind of tab out and hopefully it doesn't ruin the game. Um, so you click on DXA Editor, um, go to Project Cars, and then you see it sets the Z zone to zero, the scale to 100, blah, 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 all these options here. Basically, what I did was just click Edit INI, look for anywhere under, where is it, under Project Cars and under Project Cars Carts, just DZ means dead zone, set them to zero, press save. Um, then press log buttons, save setup, and then do the same thing for this, for the carts. So, where is it? Yep, so zero and zero. Um, obviously, grid, all the sport and stuff like that. I didn't bother messing with them, but if it needs to be, maybe it'll work with those. But for just for project cars and project carts, uh, project project cars, carts, sorry, um, just set them both to zero, save it again, and, uh, no, sorry, yeah, so that should be that should be all good basically then. So you go back into the game, then it's all in the control section basically. So you want to select custom wheel, um, whatever settings that you want to use here. I'm not going to mess with anything here because I've got it all set up exactly as I like. But first off, you have to edit the assignment. So basically for the wheel, to make it, to make it basically the same as Forza, which is what I was basically aiming for here. Um, like once you click click all these buttons assign them so i've got uh steer left obviously steer right is wheel left and wheel right throttle right pedal brake left pedal handbrake is a yeah sorry handbrake a clutch is b uh gear shift up is right paddle gear shift down obviously left paddle um ignition just keyboard i and keyboard e or for start the engine just in case certain certain depending on how you play the game basically you might your engine might cut out so it's always nice to just have those rather than having to leave the game or restart um, headlights, D-pad up, just because obviously the front, uh, windscreen wipers, D-pad right, um, then cares, D-pad left, and DRS-Y. I'll put DRS-Y, uh, because Forza, um, Formula 1 2014, I think, has, the, has it on Y for DRS, so that's just what I'm used to. Um, then all these I don't really ever use in a race, then cycle camera, the back button on the wheel, look behind, down for obvious reasons, and then start, pause, and reset car, just set it to your number pad or mouse button, whatever's closest. Um, because it is obviously, it can be helpful to be able to reset the car. So yeah, control, uh, control scheme, custom wheel. So calibrate the wheel, click that button, it'll bring up a prompt, press start, then turn the wheel 100, like all the way, completely max it out in whatever direction, um, you want and then press like I think it's like okay or next or whatever like that then it will bring up a second option press or turn the wheel until it says 270 degrees because I think that's the amount of degrees the, uh, degrees that this wheel has and um, turn it to 270 and then 
just press start because that'll be that'll be 90 degrees basically it says turn the wheel 90 degrees clockwise so when you turn it 90 degrees clockwise um it should say 270 or 271 or 269 somewhere around there um on the little prompt on screen then that, that that'd be okay press okay and then calibrate the pedals basically click the button it's the same sort of thing it prompts you to press next press start press down both the pedals let them go and then that should be good then calibrate force feedback i don't know how much this is going to have an effect but um i think i noticed that this made a, a pretty reasonable difference for me so set dead zone removal range to 0 0.18 don't know why again like i don't know why there's no actual force feedback in the game but just i found that like 20 didn't work 10 didn't work 100 didn't work zero didn't work but for whatever reason 0 0.18 works so i think that's the only thing that i changed with that um and then the configuration so obviously steering dead zone to zero um it will make the car a little bit twitchy and stuff like that like not really like really not noticeably but it will it is very kind of rather than being like having a huge dead zone it's almost like it's just really easy now to turn the car like really quickly so just be aware of that when you first start off steering sensitivity to 60 i've tried it on 80 i've tried it on 40 and 20 and stuff like that um or i should mention actually i should have said at the start uh, controller input mode 2 just switch that to two before you start messing with all these things um yeah so steering dead zone zero steering sensitivity 60 just seems to be what works best for me you can leave all these as they are on controller input mode two so if they're not the same for you for whatever reason just have a look there 20 50 10 30 13 45 speed sensitivity i mess around with this some like certain like sometimes 40 seems to be nice sometimes 20 seems to be nice um sometimes 30 is nice so between 20 and 30 is what's working for me at the minute so 25 and um, then controller fil filtering sensitivity 40 damper saturation to 100 and then force feedback down to zero because we don't have any anyway so it doesn't really matter um, and i think that should be it so if we go into the go into a game now really quickly i'm just going to use the carts on somerton sprint and we shall just i'll just show you kind of again i can't unfortunately show you um the wheel like i can't do a comparison of how little i'm turning the wheel compared to how much is actually turning on the screen but um you should be able to get the gist like if like you'll see that i'm going to be making very slight adjustments and the wheel will be moving so um, i'm gonna stop talking because i have to lean back in the chair a little bit now so it's gonna get really my voice will get really quiet and weird but just just watch what's happening on the screen you see So you can see those kind of tiny little miniature adjustments like and you can you can't hear my wheel like usually you'd be able to hear that if that was uh if that was if i hadn't fixed the dead zone problem so you can see that i'm able to make tiny little adjustments which is perfect so i'm just going to do probably one lap just to show you that it actually does work and i can't i forgot to put on my headphones and i've got cold tires so this isn't going to be the best lap by any means but we'll just see how it goes Oh, cold tires catching me out. But yeah, no. So basically, unfortunately, it, as I said, it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have force feedback. But it doesn't really matter. Like, if it's just something to get you by until you can afford to get a wheel with force feedback, which is what this is for me, it's it's amazing. Like, it's better than nothing. I'd rather I'd rather play with the wheel with no force feedback than with the controller. Um, uh, like like by by far and away because it's just so much obviously easier to control um, and then like this game is it's totally worth all the effort to play this game even without force feedback because this is just project cars is a really fun game i wasn't amazingly impressed with it on my kind of initial review sort of thing but um yeah definitely since i since since i made that i don't know there's something about these carts <laughs> like these these car tracks and these go-karts are just incredibly fun but um, ooh, into the grass. Except for when it comes into the grass. But yeah, that's that's that. I'll uh, I'll wrap that, wrap that up there because I don't. You don't need to see me doing laps. Thirty one two four six. I wonder if that's close to my best time. I'm not sure what my best time on this track is. Let's see if I can find it. Time trial. No. Leaderboards. Right. What was that? Summerton. I just noticed that that was a decent lap, so I thought I'd check. No, I never set any records in the time trials. All right. That's it, though. That's how you get the wheel to work. I'm just going to turn it off because it's a little... 
up noisy. Um, yeah, that's that's basically how you get the wheel to work. It should work. Um, if you have any issues, just Google variations of Microsoft Xbox 360 wheel dead zone project cars PC. Like just Google any combination of those words and you'll see forum threads and stuff like that. That's basically where I found out all this information. And uh, I just thought I'd put it all together, all the little bits and pieces that I read. I thought I'd throw it all together into like a kind of easy to understand format. But that's it. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up. I really hope it helps you. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new here and goodbye.